Hello guys, I'm Mr. X and today I want to show you the Seed Cracker X mod. It's a mod that lets you find the seed of nearly every Minecraft server. There are a few exceptions, but usually it works. Uh, so this is the download page. Uh, go to the newest release and uh, download the jar. Then you can install it like every other Fabric mod. Just watch a tutorial for that. And uh, I'll see you in the game. Uh, okay, now we're in game. Just for showing purposes, I create a single player world. Of course, this works for servers. And unlike in 1.17, we need to find five structures now. Uh, in 1.17 and below, a uh, single dungeon was enough. But the random number generator changed and uh, so that doesn't work anymore. Um, yeah, just to show you how you can configure the mod, the CGUI opens this panel and uh, yeah, the default config should look like this. If not, then configure it to look like this. Um, yeah, I'll just go over it. Active just uh, is a toggle to enable and disable the entire mod. Version is the server version. If your server is in a lower version, you can configure it here. And uh, yeah, not every version is different. So 1.18 and 1.18.1 is interchangeable. Um, render outlines just uh, is the mode in which uh, the hitboxes from the different structures are rendered. X-ray is default and you should leave it at that. Um, then the finder toggle, so which structures and uh, decorators and so on the mod should look uh, for. And uh, yeah, this is also not important because it's for dungeons. And we are in 1.18. Okay, now we will need to find structures. I'll use the locate command. Uh, yeah, the easiest route is to find five shipwrecks in the oceans. It's relatively quick to uh, find them with a boat and yeah, the oceans in 1.18 are relatively big. So a uh, single ocean probably has five shipwrecks in it. Um, I guess I can use some other structures too, slash locate um, igloo. Uh, not every structure works, so we can only use igloos, desert pyramids, jungle temples, shipwrecks, witch huts and pillager outposts. Uh, maybe I'll add villages too because they theoretically also work. It's a bit of a hassle to detect the village center but yeah. Okay so we found the igloo. Next to it was another shipwreck and here is also a pillage outpost. To check our process we uh, progress we can uh, use seed data bits uh, I'll have 35 uh, bits of from liftable structures out of 40. Uh, the other number is not important if you're cracking the seed in the overworld. It's more important for end seed cracking. I would recommend my older video for 1.17 uh, cracking and below. I'll have a link to that in the description. So I found the last shipwreck. I have over 40 bits now. So it started cracking, started lifting with five structures. This takes a few minutes. That's a starting message. This usually takes a few seconds to, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. This might not work. So, uh, the 
mod will notify you if it can't find anything, uh, can't find any seed. That means the structure combination can't generate the by default vanilla rules. So there is change config on the server side. Um, there's nothing you can do about that. I guess the seed is then just uncrackable at the moment. There is uh, a way, but uh, I haven't integrated that to the mod yet. And maybe I'll do it that in half a year or I don't know. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. Just to say, yeah, this won't always work. Um, if you want to reset your process, you can use slash seed data clear. I won't do that, but uh, because I'm still cracking and that could interfere with it. Also, uh, cracking might need additional structures. Maybe it prints that message if it takes that long. So um, five structures won't always work. Yeah, you can see reducing to 26,000 seeds. Uh, fail to reduce seeds, you probably need more structures or your data is wrong. So I'm gonna find uh, additional structures. Uh, I found an additional structure. Now it says reduced to 479 seeds. And then it says uh, cracking world seed with decorators. Decorators are um, everything that's in the, uh, in the world but isn't a structure and isn't normal terrain. So uh, the icebergs are decorators, trees are back decorators, dungeons are decorators. Uh, currently, I only have uh, the have a finder for dungeons, but if you have found five structures, you have enough data from dungeons to do this step. So don't worry about it. Just so you know, and yeah, looking for world seed with decorators. Now it prints the world seed. Uh, you can click that and uh, you have it in your clipboard. Control V to paste anywhere. And that's it. Now I'll show you some stuff that's special on servers. Uh, before that, we should also discuss uh, slash seed data is clear. Yeah, just clear data. Um, slash seed data reload, uh, slash seed finder reload, rescans the area, reconnecting um, will, uh, the mod will message you that it found stuff from the previous session. So slash seed data restore. And you can restore structure positions from the previous session, so you can safely log off. Uh, you can even quit the game, and the mod will remember that uh, the uh, positions. And uh, yeah, now to servers. Um, okay, I'm on a random server now. Uh, servers usually have multiple worlds if it's a big server, and those worlds usually have different seats. Uh, so you'll see uh, the message this world seat is uh, the world seat in this dimension is different and then uh, the hash seat uh, that's only in uh -huh. debug mode so yeah you'll just see the world seat is different in this dimension and just be aware of that uh, servers might use different seats in different dimensions the mod will notify you in most cases uh, okay, on this last part, I wanted to show how to protect your server as a server admin against seed cracking. Um, 
So Spigot has a useful config for this. Uh, it's those seats here. Just change them to a different number. Every one of those seats, just a random number that you can generate or choose by random tipping on the keyboard. And yeah, change every one uh, of those seats and then you should be safe. Uh, of course, this only blocks uh, future uh, generated structures from being seat tracked. Uh, any structures that have been generated in the world can be used for seat tracking. So uh, this usually only makes sense if you uh, don't have an already generated world. Um, yeah, that's just for that. And uh, paper also has a config to uh, protect against decorator cracking that may be useful for uh, dungeon cracking protection. Uh, maybe I'll get a paper server here. Um, in the paper.yml there is a config. Where is it? Oh, it's probably too old. Do I have an updated paper server? Wait, paper 1.18, that must have it. Um, paper YML. Yeah, uh, at the bottom of the paper YML, there is the feature seeds config generate random seeds for all, just uh, set it to true, save the config and generate your world. Of course, same limitations and pre-existing world can't be protected against seed cracking. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching my video for 1.18 seed cracking and the seed cracking protection stuff. Um, I would be glad if you subscribe to my sir, uh, to my YouTube channel, maybe join my Discord. Uh, yeah, join here also for support and so on. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.